Anthony, please. Don't smuggle sentiments into this. Your life and my life are not the same. I was a nobody married into royalty. Exactly the same with you, man. I am a nobody king as a prince in a palace where nobody discusses Christianity anymore. All you talk about is succession to the throne. I want to go out there and find that humble life. Very concerned, not happy. Oh, I am concerned. I am concerned that I'm not going to get a song that will sit on my throat. <laughs> Excuse me? Not that, like, seriously. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know that Brother Anthony is no longer going. Mother, he may end up not being a priest. Say it's fool! Forget the fact that I have issues with that useless mother. That Anthony is very intelligent. You know he made first class in statistics. Uh -huh. And what has first class got to do with being a priest? Because they know holiness is a virtue no one can attain in this corrupt world. 
and with the level of his intelligence, before you know it, you'll be a priest. <laughs> and I, my own son, and he will. Father, you continue to pray for me to keep the prayer, and I will continue to do what it is. I cannot disobey God. He is an alpha and the omega. So, look at your mother. Common sense should tell you that she could no longer continue. The other women are married, give back to female children. Those girls could rise up to be anything in life, but they can never see to be that no. Husbands could come from anywhere and pick them away. But you are the only one that could sit on the throne and by electing to join seminary, you have decided to take away the kingship from your life. What have I done, sir, to deserve this level of punishment for me? Father, the throne of whom Melika represents many things to different people. I am aware that 20% the diamond fields come to this place. It's not for me on the right hand. I can confirm to you that all those opinions, apart from the diamond field you mentioned, we have also signed an envoy with Radiant Petroleum Company to start exploration at this. That will be double of what the diamond field gives. So everything is yours. Please drop this idea and tap into the riches of the beauty. All this riches are not my obsession, Father. I want to be a priest. This is what I want and that is what God wants for me. I am of the firm belief that a son who will succeed you will come. Ask me how it could happen and I might not be able to give you an answer to that. I believe. Your Majesty, is the winner for the Belek Kingdom. I agree. Ever since we started sharing money in this kingdom, I have never denied you your fair share. I have always related with you as a friend, and I remember telling you once that you are the only man in council I can trust with my life. Your words are very heavy, Your Majesty. I just got home. I'm about to shower and go to bed. I don't know why are you telling me all this. What have I done that you have decided to destroy my family? Your Majesty, can you give me one favor this night? One okay. favor. Your Majesty, the distance between your house, your palace, and the ancient tomb of our old Black Kingdom is a walking distance. And I sincerely believe you will not have any problem going to the throne room for us to meet one on one this night. I have something very important to discuss.
I know you're very close to my son. I know he listens to you. And I equally know that he trusts you more than any other person. This man is. Please. Do whatever you can to dissuade him from enrolling in this is seminary school. Can you explain to me why you brought me out here this night? Your Majesty, it is that clear you are doing everything possible to associate me with evil. And can you ever deny it? You are using all the evil charm you procured from Ondo to manipulate my son into his own destruction. I can't believe you just said that, Your Majesty. I can't believe you said that. Why would you stand before the throne of our forefathers and allege that a man who has entered the seminary school to be trained as a priest is being manipulated and being destroyed. Come on, Ezune. There are certain things you cannot just say. You cannot say a thing like that. When has it become destruction for someone to enroll into seminary school? Not any other school, but seminary school, Your Majesty. You are appealing to religion to weaken me. I am not the kind of man you weaken with religion. If you finally succeed and my son becomes a priest, and the kingship departs from my lineage, Posterity shall be very nice with you. My God will not come with you. Let's do it. This is the God of the It is an ancient instrument of our father. As your finest king, I am here. Thank you very much. I appreciate this handover. But I want to ask, does he have any do's and don'ts? On this path of the king shall all truth be established. Any liar that swears on this path, as he or she is trying to hide the truth, shall die instantly. Yes. You need this path to win as a king. Force all men that stand before you in judgment to swear on this calf. If they swear and live, they are innocent. But if they are guilty, they shall die before you. And the cops shall mount nothing, for they shall never be mourned. What you have here is death. It has killed many in the past. And we continue to kill. Do you know the staff you are holding? Do not play with the staff of the king of the land because it can kill. It has killed many before and it can still kill you. On the staff of the king of our land, Champor Toots, be established. Any man or any woman. Who is holding this staff and hides the truth shall die instantly. Yes, that was exactly what the priest of the land told me when he gave it to me. Why do you ask? Do you want to swear on the staff of the king? Your Majesty, that is why I came here this night. To swear on this staff and prove to you that I don't know anything concerning what is happening. The priest of our old brother King decided on this one to abandon the ways of our forefathers and enroll into the seminary to be fed as a priest. I swear on this hand that I don't know anything concerning that decision of I have never conspired with him myself, 
neither have I had any meeting with anybody anywhere to manipulate the case or to force him into any decision. If I lie, Your Majesty, let me cease to exist. You are still my friend that I hold in high esteem. Do not allow trivial issues to destroy the excellent working relationship we have shared over the years. If you need me anytime, call me. means I have been suspected for nothing. Who then is behind all of this? My mother got angry that she slept here the last time. Why do you want to speak to you? I still don't know. But I feel like when we're together, chances are I could get you to change your mind. Listen to me, Mercy. If, if I eventually allow you to sleep in this room tonight, you must make me a promise not to waste that time. Begged you for anything, so she gave birth to you. And this is the very first thing she's ever had to beg you. And you wouldn't even budge. Let's see, we had an agreement. Also mean you have no respect for your father. Does it? Don't think I will leave this room. Please. 
let's not drag this matter as if you don't know the protocol of the king. Who is leaving? Of course she's the one to leave the room. She must leave this room. Where do you think we are going? I came into this room, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. So she should be the one. Your Majesty. Talk of this troublemaker in front of this palace. I beg your pardon. Is it because you my wife? Because you come on to put night with your marker that you are calling a troublemaker. Your Majesty, what are you doing? You're supporting her. You stay on the bed. And you go back to your quarters. She came here before you, so she is the one that stays. What? I can't believe this. Your Majesty, you're actually taking side with her against me.
بوكس ذا مثال
Let us start entirely to submit him. Mama, come back here! What was the meaning of that? That rubbish you just said. We shall all know that this is not rubbish. We have tried our best to make him change his mind, but it's not working. So just, just let him Majesty, you will not hear it from me that your so called woman is in jail. But I believe that very soon, our sons will find her out. What do you have to do? Fresh fish, very soon. Just for my one and only husband. I prepared it myself. It's kind of pregnant. I believe you will like it. 
feel they're wrong already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not so good. Yeah. You are such an angel. <laughs> Can I feed you? What is the matter with you? Why are you always doing things to provoke me to the point of venturing your table? Venturing your table? Jeez. This is unbelievable. You are not losing the idea of killing me because of this hand loss you brought in here. What did I just hear you say? How dare you? Is it in the Just darling, calm down. Please sit. Please. This is the life I have always prayed for and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Well, I think this is why the bishop loves you. <laughs> anyway, just make yourself comfortable in this place. No matter what she did, it's not enough reason for you to start fighting in character, like in Colombia. That lady is a very definition of a strange woman. You must say that. If you start fighting her at every little provocation, I will be forced to conclude that.
見かも。You that is now fully admitted into the seminary school at Aki. I tried everything possible to bring him back. I even went to the bishop. They all advised me to leave him alone. And your majesty, I believe that you best leave him alone. There is a way we are going to track this matter and it will appear as if you are getting to my power. Well, I have resigned to fate. The bishop even got me to sign some necessary documents in his office as a father of the seminarian. It was too tough for me to do. But I had no choice but to sign. Anthony, your son, decided on his own to be enrolled into the seminary to be trained to become a priest. He was not forced by anybody. And we all know that people who descended on their own to become priests, they do make wonderful priests. It is possible we are going to have another father trans in our town. You never can tell which one be my son. But I am still bothered about the throne. Who is that son that will sit on this throne? Where is he going to come from? Your Majesty, I have been thinking about this. And even as we speak, I have not managed to convince myself why it is not going to be possible. What is it you are thinking? Anthony, your son, has gone to the seminary. And now, let us assume he is already a priest by the time he joined the class. Now, I ask you to understand is there anything that would prevent us from making him the king from even as a priest? How is that possible? How can they crown him king when he is yet to go through the ritual of Amor? Your Majesty, it is never too late for anybody to pass through that ritual. 
It is never too late for anybody to be initiated into the masculine core of our world to get kicked down. Let us assume your son Arthur has become a priest by the time you join your ancestors. And then as a priest, he surrenders to be initiated into the masculine core. He surrenders to pass through the mutual of our as a priest. Now, is there anything that will prevent us from breaking it again and force it to go down against him as the very first Catholic priest that is going to emerge as king of his army? What will prevent that from breaking You're right. can be trusted. Because what is it? Eh? What is it? What is the problem? At least you can trust us to fight your fight for you.
from who do you wish to be husband? I'm no longer appealing to you. I sincerely don't know how it happens for my business. As we speak right now, the king is building a house for me in my father's compound. I am dedicated to serving him. And if you want me to go and talk to the king about his life with his wives, I'm sorry, Mpume cannot. Mpume, I never asked you to talk to my husband. I only want you to explain to me what you meant. To I don't understand why you are asking me that. I'm only a servant. Serving you all. And there are certain things I can do more for some of you. You are a beautiful woman that I understand. And I expect you to know what I mean when I say the lady should step all my dear. That's what the new lawyer brought yesterday. He has headed to me tomorrow night. But I want us to go through the and form an opinion of what we are going to say tomorrow night. Your Majesty, what I have here is simply an improvement. Exactly what I've said already. But I still want us to further look into it. To know the areas we shall question. Where is the king? It's in my palace. Can I have it? Oh, sure. Let me get it. Tell me what it is. This useless girl that sells us food is pregnant. What? And she doesn't even know who got her pregnant. It's so ugly. Like the daughter of my own friend, who I brought into my house as my own daughter. Hands of immorality. Excuse us for me.
Ano yung auto? On lang. Oo, doon ang kuha niya. Doon po sa gulo ko. Baka magiging sa bagay niya. Baka kailangan po yung gulo ko. Step up your game. I'm sorry, Patat. That's exactly the same thing the head guard has been saying to me. Does this have anything to do with the king? The woman has not possessed your husband as a king. And the king has not stopped loving you. The woman is using the woman in her to play you. And I believe the king is testing your passion. All you need to do is step up your game. You don't need chance. I'm a net of the I did not come here to listen to your sermon. For crying out loud, you are a native doctor, not a preacher. Make me a charm that will take my husband's eyes off her. I want my husband to look at me alone. She did the same without charms. What sort of rubbish is this? I was told you can make all charms, and you're good in what you do. How much will I pay I want to achieve my charms. <laughs> you left to go and bring the original draft from the power line for us to make perfect comparison. And here you are, coming back with that and coming back to the side. What is going on? Ichi, forget the original draft. In short, forget about the meeting schedule for tomorrow. <laughs> Something bigger than the whole oil at Azu erupted in the palace. But I'll break it out. You are still the one I can trust. We have to plan the way forward. Your Majesty, I don't think I don't know you so well. I will say that you possibly step out to 
go and inhale any of the past. I'm sorry, your majesty, but why are you talking like someone who is under the influence of sleep? Let's see. The maiden who serves at the palace is pregnant. I can't believe this. But you see, a maiden that serves under you is pregnant under you, and you are excited? What kind of thing is that? Each year you won't understand why I am excited. My son who disobeyed me and foolishly enrolled in seminary is responsible for the pregnancy. Yes! You are not sure, are you? <laughs> I will take you to the maiden and she will speak to you and you hear from her directly. Hey! Miss <laughs> Atapano Mound Walker. Get him. Get him environment. 
I can testify before the Blessed Sacrament that I don't know what she's talking about. I've never had anything to do with her. She must be pressed to mention who got her pregnant. I did not give her that. There's no reason for this good luck. This is a sin. We cannot leave you here because it's going to be responsible of us to do that. your seminary administration. You have to leave. We have no other option. You have to leave. I did not do it, Father. Mercy. What wrong have I ever done to you that you heap this kind of lies on my head? Fine, I agree. We are close. But we have never done anything together, and you know it. So why are you not telling these people the truth? You are pregnant, and you know who is responsible. You very well know it is not me. So speak! Your Majesty, please allow me to leave now. Excuse me. Father, you once told me that you believe that this, this stick here, this thing, you believe it has a path to tell the truth and to identify who is telling lies. Why don't you use it? Why don't you use it to identify this girl is lying against me and she has to be called to honor? Son, I am convinced that a pregnant woman is the only one who knows the person that is responsible for her pregnancy. In this case, she is lying against me, and it is so glaring. Call her to order, Father. My prince, the information available to us will be that this lady has been sleeping with you in your room. Not once, not twice, but countless number of times. Yes. Are you going to deny that? I am not denying it. Fine. She has slept in my room. Good. But I don't have anything to do with this girl. Don't you get it? Peter Paul, Prince, give me the plan. I am a man. Oh. Uh -huh. You see where you lost it. Eh? You allowed her into your room. Sleep on your bed. With you. My prince, this is my responsibility. I don't get why all of you do. Yet in the same room with her, but I have never done anything with her. That is the point. Oh, what is the issue? Which one? Which one? You came. You said this thing has passed to tell me it's telling the light. Why don't you want to use it? Why? You are the coming king of Urubaleke Kingdom. And these are some of the things that you need to learn. The staff of the king is a sacred instrument of the kingdom. It is a taboo to force a pregnant woman to swear on it. Yes. Yes. Mercy. Mercy, how, how could you do this to me? Why? Son, prepare your mind because we are proceeding to pay her bride price and get her for you as your wife. Yes. Never. I am proceeding with my call to priesthood. My priest, you cannot proceed with your call to priesthood because that call has been broken. A maiden is already carrying your shine. And there is no way you can proceed to become a priest. There is no priest anywhere that has a shine. We are not going to allow our kingdom to go into that unpopular history as the very first time that we produce a priest that has a shine. And an actual Linda. I have never done with you there. Good day, dear. Good day, dear. Father? Oh, don't mind me. Let the phone go. I have one.
Mercy. I listened to my son. And something tells me that he's not responsible for this pregnancy. So I want you to tell me the truth that I need to know. Who is responsible? know what else to say in this issue. Anthony is the only one that has been sleeping with me. Should I name another when he is responsible? But the truth remains that it was Anthony that grabbed me. And there is no way I could have resisted him. So, why? Why is it delay when he has slept with the maiden? Across a path that should cross. She will run mad immediately and in your presence. And she will pack her up in balance. Not wanted. This evil is yours, not mine. Forget about that. You mean this will make you cause it can go mad? Whoa, this is awesome. This is good. If that happens, I will come back here and shock you. You can't shock me. You can't shock me. What happened may not be acceptable in royalty, but sincerely, I am happy. You are happy? Your Majesty, why would you be happy? My son is still insisting that he has not slept with her. But he has always allowed the same girl in his room. And they have both slept on the same bed. My way, take it out. She could have taken my son while he's oh, asleep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Your Majesty. Why? That's so inconceivable. How can any man be taking her? He wouldn't know. Well, I don't want to spend any more time on this issue. I have decided to tell her from Castle. We are going to pay her my price to work. Well, if that will happen, it will definitely not be tomorrow. I am telling you the decision of the elders in Castle, and you are still talking. Call their family and inform them that we are coming tomorrow. Your Majesty, like you know, Father is late. And her mother, Madame Amanda, is far away in Dubai and will not be coming back till next week. So, if we must pay her bride price, we must wait till next week. <laughs> Just like this. 
sister and have done everything to protect you and make you happy. Why? Why would you want to destroy my heart and my soul? Please stop it. You are making me lose my head. Ask your boss and remember the whole of that greatness. Because you and I will really can't be. You break my heart when you say that. What are you saying? That all of a sudden I am a loose woman? Are you trying to say that a full grown woman like myself cannot say you got her pregnant? I see, I'm sorry, but that's exactly what you said. From what you have just been seeing, it's only if you don't know who got you pregnant, and that's that. Do you know the implication of what you're doing? Do you know what this means to me?
The jam is empty for someone else. This is low. as if he's no longer here. simply to prevent them from marrying her for me. I, I want to stay with you. I know that God will vindicate me. Father, just because I like you, I love you. Yes, 
sit here doing nothing. You call yourself my friend. What happened to my daughter? Amanda, I don't want to be that. Why would your daughter get pregnant in the first place? She had everything provided for her. As a matter of fact, she was the one that was approving every list made by the chef. So why would she stop doing that to the extent of getting pregnant? Amanda, don't trouble me. So, where is my daughter? Any clue? Are the ancestors. We may not know exactly where your daughter is as we speak, but the psychic will like us. Confirm to me that she is okay, where she is. And that one day she will come to that palace, return to the palace on her own, they will do what she did. I don't understand. What do you mean by undoing what she did? My mama, your father, Baba, I know you do what they want. Look at the wash. Look at the time and you discover that time is still on your side. You don't even bother about time we do. That one should be your business. I want you to tell me what my daughter did that she needs to do. Uh, the psychic was not clear on that. The only thing he said is that your daughter is okay where she is and I will. She's been like this since evening. And she wouldn't tell us what the problem is. Well, um, you can assist us by telling us what your problem is. Yes. We shall start to seek for solution when we know what your problem is. Dad, don't mind now. This is what she has been saying since and she's not getting any better. Mom, say something. Now, what is it? You can guide us. We cannot take you anywhere when you have not said anything. Then 
no small job like this. And I know what to do. Mom, say something. Or do you want to go to Boston? I don't know why you refuse to tell us what the problem is. to be a priest. That's very silly. Can you say something like that? My friend, mind the kind of words you use before God gets mad at you. Considering her condition, it is obvious that we initiate our help. That's why I called you. Find a way to get her to take a shower. I've already called Dr. Ken and he's coming. Okay? There must be a reason we ran into her today. We must not rely on our customer Christmas. I 
Considerate lili a fiagri a uomo do cresco, non laborant ne quenent. Dico autem fobis, moniam nem salomoni nobni gloria sua, como percus est, sicut unum existis. Si autem ferum ad nipot moni est, et cras in clivalum mititum, Deus sic festi, Quanto magis vos modice fidei. Nolit ergo solicities dicentes, quid mando carimus, auquid vivemus, auto periemus. E che ne mami a gente Are we going to leave it just like this? I don't know what else to do. <sighs> he has refused to come back to the police. I went to the police and they made it clear to me that no man has the right to stay wherever he likes. Your Majesty, this matter is beyond the police. Some people are bent on destroying our son. Just to seek solution the African way. Rise as a king and unmask the identity of those trying to destroy our son. I already went to a renowned psychic to make inquiry, and he confirmed to me that Monsignor Moka that you stay with is not the type of priest one toys with. I was told to watch events as they unfold, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Medically examine the lady and I'll instruct. 
my sister goes to move her to the hospital. Why? It's a condition that if she doesn't deliver tonight, she will go to bed tomorrow. Not seriously. I believe that is the reason God brought her with that. You said the lady was right on your side. Sorry, I was the one who rescued her on the streets. She's a public lunatic. Well, the lady I met there was a lunatic. She was sound in all the questions I asked her. She was very, very coherent in her speeches. Huh? I have not seen what I'm but we'll find out later. Okay. Alright, see you all. Good evening, Marcella. Yes, Sister Rose. Uh, Dr. Ken is just leaving my office now. He told me that the lady we rescued is coherent in her speeches. What explanation do you have for that? I believe the miracle just took place. I gave her holy water, and after drinking the water, she told me her name is Mercy, and that her mother is a rich woman named Madame Amanda. Since then, she has been talking about her. Okay, uh, is Anthony at home? Anthony should be at the hotel, praying. Okay, uh, Dr. Ken told me he instructed you to move out to the hospital because her pregnancy is due. Uh, when are you moving? She slept up immediately after the medical examination. It looks like she has not had a good sleep for a long time. So I allowed her to sleep. But I'm checking on her every five minutes. Okay, that's okay. Uh, just keep up. And uh, call me if there's anything. Okay, my son. Okay. Hmm. Training to become a priest. Mm -hmm. Lucy, 
All this are the reason I elected not to go to the church anymore. You are the Satan inconsistency. Ah, let me. Let me just please, please. Admit me when he call me Zobel to order. Why? Because he's dearing God. But when Zobel is no longer going to church, how is it our business in this castle? Please, the Majesty, call him to order. It's your God and Lord. You are the one that we should be calling to order. Okay. How? The maiden in this palace got pregnant. And she has confirmed that it is my son who is responsible for the pregnancy. Oh. Your Majesty, as we speak now, where is the woman and where is the child? The fact that we have not seen the baby again has not diluted the fact that it was my son who got her pregnant. Why must we allow him to go back into the seminary? Walk up to him. Walk up to him. I think we are wasting time discussing it. These people sent us a letter and they asked us to wait for them here to come and tell us why they are not in our books. Let us wait and we are the first time. Uh, but no, please, you have to caution Mizoboli. My friend, don't point at me. Look at me. But you are no longer going to church. How is it our business? Well, why must you believe it here? Protected. That is the word, Your Majesty. She is protected. And in view of this, we've come before the king to thank him. Father Silas, I don't know the game you are playing. My son got this lady pregnant, and when she became man, he ran to Mount Sinai. And you all never forced him to come back to the palace. Now you took him back into seminary to train to become a priest. And mercy is standing before me without a pregnancy and without any child. Oh. Can you explain to me what is going on? Yes. Your Majesty, I am Monsignor Mwaka, the rector in charge of Seat of Wisdom Seminary. I know you. You are the one that harbored my stubborn son. Why do you have to push him back into seminary when you know he has a case of pregnancy hanging on his neck? Your Majesty, he is back in the seminary because he never had anything to do with this lady. My son Anthony had nothing to do with the pregnancy. Uh, uh, excuse me. Please. If my son was not responsible for her pregnancy, who then was? Uh, uh, yes. Your daughters call her a slave. What does that mean? Your Majesty, that's what we were discussing. I promise I'll get
Our God is a God of miracles. Now I can proceed with my call to first. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 